I remember my father telling me like that the drums is like your heartbeat. It's like mimicked after your heartbeat. He said you can do everything that you want to do with the beat and tossing up drumsticks, but if you lose this, you lost the beat. It's kind of what I still use for everything. It's kind of how I teach my son. They were illiterate. Both my mother and my stepfather, neither one of them could read or write. Illiterate people don't have an understanding of, of certain things. So they bought me books that just had like pretty pictures on them, uh, complicated academic books, but I will read them. I don't give up on young people. I, I still believe all the best ideas come from young people. You see somebody that's interested, you see a young person that's interested, just keep them focused. I grew up in a low-income household in the segregated city of Chicago. The things that changed my life are the things that allowed me to express my own experiences. Children should be allowed opportunities to explore and develop their own ideas and engage with their environment and engage with the social universe. I think if I was five years old today, I would love to know that the world, I had access to the world. I grew up thinking my world was my block and my neighborhood. To not think of your world as your block, I think opens up your mind in a huge way. I would spend like hours alone entertaining myself. They would be like, should we check up on her? Like, are we parents? What's happening? And I would be drawing, I would be tracing uh, drawings on paper. My parents honored that. They were never like, do something else. It's an uncommon experience, unfortunately, to have adults in your world, especially parents, that are both giving you the space to be a creative, autonomous being. My mother was different. She just wanted to be a writer and she had a love of words. She had a love for how they sounded. She had a love for language and she loved to read. I think it was her goal was just to make sure that I had that same love, be comfortable with being me. I didn't run into this obstacle that said like, you need to put the things of being a child down now. The ways in which that they interacted and, and raised me and my older sister and younger brother um, always seemed very rooted in giving us the space to explore. Everyone as a child has this tendency to explore and be curious and discover and draw and doodle and sing and write and storytell and all these things. And at some point, it gets smaller and smaller. Spent her whole life as my mother reframing stories so that I knew I was the hero of it. And when I said, oh, I wanted to be a writer, you could tell that the teachers were like, oh, like I've somehow got to communicate to this girl. That's not a smart idea. It was a fear of uh, everyone who knew that was my dream. Uh, except for my mom. It was because she started instilling at me at a very young age that sort of control of destiny that words can give you. <laughs> I, I got out uh, because of words. <laughs>